what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Members of the Latin Kings and the Black Peace Stones united in Chicago after violence between the two groups. There were rumors that the Latin Kings were working with the police to stop looters after videos surfaced of Latin King members stopping people from breaking into stores amid the riots, with rumors that one member of the Peace Stones was shot. Following the incident, there were reports of two people being shot and killed in the Cicero neighborhood of Chicago, which some believe to have been done in retaliation. The rumors of the Latin Kings working with the police has since been debunked, and the two groups decided to come together to prevent any future violence. That's a good look. You got two groups who are being marginalized that are essentially in the same boat. It is amazing how hurt people hurt people. Blacks and Hispanics got a common enemy and it's called white supremacy. Now, everybody ain't gonna get along, I get it. But for groups, two groups of people who already got enough damn problems, there's enough killing in the black community already by black folks. There's enough killing in the uh, Hispanic community by Hispanics. There's enough killing in these marginalized groups Period. There's enough strife. Why add to that? Like, there's enough ways to die already. This was a good look because nothing good was going to come from this. I mean, you kill, they kill. They kill, you kill. It goes back and forth and back and forth. You're not going to run out of bodies because there's new babies being born every day. And the trip part about it is that when these babies are born in these basically war zone type of environments, it makes it hard to give your child a really, really good shot at making it. And these babies deserve better. They deserve to be able to walk to the corner store and it not be an adventure like the mother or father is not concerned if they don't walk in the door, back in the door within 20 minutes. They shouldn't be concerned that maybe a straight bullet hit them. Somebody snatched them off the streets. When I first saw that, I was like, oh man, this is bad. This is bad. Because ain't nobody scared. You know, the Hispanics ain't scared of the blacks and the blacks ain't scared of the Hispanics. Not the ones I know. So what do you have? Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm glad that cooler heads prevailed and somebody had sense to say, you know what, man, this ain't it. This ain't it. I'm surprised they were able to nip it in the bud that fast. And I'm not saying that it's all over because I'm not on the ground. But... It appears to be over. It, at the minimum, this is a good gesture. At the minimum, it's a good gesture. Because y'all, you know, you know how this street thing go, you know. Somebody get a hot head and down somebody, family member or a friend or a member in the gang. And next thing you know, it's an all out war and bodies are dropping like flies. And you look back, you're like, man, over nothing. And meanwhile, police sitting at the dinner table with their family, just, mm, how was your day? Mm, huh, dinner, dinner was good. Mm, oh, honey, yeah, mm, everything's good, honey. Mm, yeah. They just living in peace and harmony. And they're the ones who actually laid a foundation for all of the chaos. It's amazing how the police ride on blacks and Hispanics, plant evidence on them, Beat them up. Shoot their loved ones. Beat up their mamas. Call their women bitches. And 
nothing happens. But if you look at one another wrong, or somebody is on the wrong street or in their own neighborhood, you actually execute them. This is a person who ain't never called your mama a bitch, ain't never planted drugs on you, ain't never arrested you, never uprooted your life, sent you to jail, gave you a gang of years, put your daddy away, killed your cousin. Help me make sense of all of this. I'm coming to Chicago to get some answers. I am getting ready to do a tour, uh, a Rebuild America tour, if you will. And I'm going to be going to many of the top cities around the country, and we'll be doing a round table. We'll have a round table discussion with the, the leaders in the communities, uh, and including uh, business and city officials and members of law enforcement. I'm coming, so y'all keep your antennas up and be prepared for the announcement coming real soon. I'll give you more details. But we gotta do better. Uh, this is not, this truce is not uh, the end, but it's a good start. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.